Hello and welcome back. This is day two at Essicon 2018. So far, a busy day, ladies and gentlemen, and we are through. And more updates to share on ESI TV at the 48th Annual Conference of Endocrine Society of India. We have with us a very senior practicing endocrinologist of our nation, Dr. Sudeep Chatterjee with us. Hello, sir. Hello. How are you doing today and what are you looking forward to from Essicon 2018? It's a lovely day here in Bhuvaneshwar, which is a very, very historic and ancient temple city of India. And uh, it's beautiful and lovely to be here. And we are looking forward to a very, very exciting scientific feast. Sure. We are talking about a four-day spread of this scientific uh, extravaganza. And day one is already through. Were you here yesterday, sir? No, I came early this morning. And I'm looking forward to the rest of the uh, conference. Sure. And also to let our audience know, sir, the area of work that you would like your experience to be shared on this platform. So what is that special kind of interest that you uh, hold for yourself? And what are, you, what are your expectations from ESICON 2018? Well, ESICON 2018, I'm looking forward to updating and brushing up my knowledge in different niche areas of endocrinology because most of what we do is basically diabetes and thyroid and the other rarer conditions are rare by definition and we don't get to see or hear of them much. So I'm looking forward to interacting with speakers who deal with the uh, rarer endocrine diseases which are there but which need an uh, index of suspicion to be picked up and it then they require quite a bit of expertise to diagnose, treat, and also, of course, to counsel the patients and the families. So I'm looking forward to that. Thank you, sir. Uh, talking about diabetes, India is the fastest growing nation, diabetic capital. So uh, what is your take uh, on this entire process, especially the young ones or diabetes to be treated in elderly? Could you just give us a quick overview as far as diabetes in our country is concerned? Well, diabetes in our country, as you rightly said, is extremely high. About, say, 10% of the urban population have diabetes. But this comes down to less than half that figure when we go to the rural areas. So there's something in our lifestyle between a rural lifestyle and an urban lifestyle that predisposes to diabetes. And this is where we have to uh, focus our attentions. Because as you know, any disease is controllable only if you can prevent it. We have prevented and cured and conquered smallpox. We have conquered polio. And to conquer a disease like diabetes, we have to start preventing it. Not that we have very good tools to do so, unfortunately, but whatever we have and also the knowledge we have that there's a difference between rural lifestyles and urban lifestyles gives us a starting point on which to base our preventive measures. Sure. Sir, also talking about the current updates and advances in uh, endocrinology, what is that something that you would like to share with our audience? Well. Uh, there are not enough endocrinologists in the country to take care of all the endocrine diseases that are there. So endocrinologists not only treat, but they also have to set a standard so that others who are not primarily endocrinologists, but they do get to see endocrine disorders, these physicians uh, can improve and build upon our experiences and uh, improve the total patient care. The other thing I would like to say is that in, uh, in today's day and age, please be aware of what your patients are reading, particularly on the net. For example, there is a website that guarantees that it will increase your height by a few centimeters even when you are 30 years old. There are also websites that will tell that in thyroid disease, don't have anything, don't have apples, don't have zucchini, A to Z. Lots of foods are prohibited, which is not scientific at all. However, our patients are reading these things and I would actually encourage my colleagues to see what our patients are actually reading and what sort of information they actually have, which is completely, uh, I would say, unscientific in a lot of cases. So I think we should be aware of that. Sure. Thank you so much, sir, for putting this into our light. 
and uh, also Dr. Chatterjee would be presenting a special session. So let's get straight from him as to what do we look forward from his session. So what is the topic and how about of your the topic? The session is about oral uh, anti-diabetic agents. So it's basically new agents have come up over the last few years and we need to focus our attention on the new uh, aspects of uh, treatment of diabetes with tablets and that is what the session is about. Thank you so much sir for Thank you. coming on board with us on ESI TV and uh, sharing such important facts about uh, endocrinology and thank you so much once again Thank for joining you. in Thank with you. us.